Would we survive being hit by a gamma ray burst? Gamma ray bursts are extremely energetic explosions that have been observed in distant galaxies. They are the brightest electromagnetic events known to occur in the universe. Gamma ray bursts can last from 10 milliseconds to several hours. The intense radiation of most observed gamma ray bursts is believed to be released during a supernova or hypernova as a rapidly rotating high mass star collapses to form either a neutron star or a black hole. A subclass of gamma ray bursts, which usually have shorter bursts, appear to originate from different process. The mercury of binary neutron stars. The cause of the burst observed in some of these short-lived events may be due to the massive tidal forces experienced in the seconds leading up to their collision, causing the entire crust of the star to shatter. So what if Earth was hit by a gamma ray burst? What would happen? The sources of most gamma ray bursts are billions of light years away from Earth. But since we can actually observe them, that would mean the explosions are extremely energetic. It is estimated that a typical gamma ray burst releases as much energy in a few seconds as the sun will in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. They are also extremely rare and only occur a few times per galaxy per million years. But then again, there are a lot of galaxies. So by the time a gamma ray burst from that far away would hit us, it would have been diminished in power so much that it won't cause any problems, if it even can reach us in the first place. But what if we took a hit from a gamma ray burst way closer to us? So Earth's atmosphere is very effective at absorbing high energy electromagnetic radiation, such as X-rays and gamma rays. So even if a gamma ray burst would hit us, these type of radiation would not reach dangerous levels at the surface during the burst event itself. The immediate effect of life on Earth from a gamma ray burst within a few parsecs would only be a short increase in ultraviolet radiation at ground level, lasting from less than a second to tenths of a second. This ultraviolet radiation could potentially reach dangerous levels depending on the exact nature and distance of the burst, but it seems unlikely to be the cause of a global catastrophe for life on Earth. The long-term effects from a nearby burst are more dangerous though. Let's talk chemistry for a bit. Gamma rays cause chemical reactions in the atmosphere involving oxygen and nitrogen molecules, creating first nitrogen oxide, then nitrogen dioxide gas. These nitrogen oxides cause dangerous effects on three different levels. First, they deplete ozone. With models showing a positive global reduction of 25 to 35 with as much as 75% in certain locations, and that effect would last for years. This reduction would be enough to cause a dangerously elevated UV index at the surface, so you better bring out that sun cream. Secondly, the nitrogen oxides cause photochemical smog, which darkens the sky and blocks out parts of the sunlight spectrum. This would affect photosynthesis, but it would only be around a 1% reduction of the total sunlight spectrum, lasting a few years, so it's not that bad, right? Well, it still is, because the smog could potentially have a cooling effect on Earth's climate, causing a cosmic winter. Basically, hello, mini ice age. Thirdly, the elevating nitrogen levels in the atmosphere would wash out and produce nitric acid rain. This substance is quite toxic, especially to amphibian life, but then again, it might not reach high enough levels that would cause a serious global effect. And actually, the nitrous might in fact be of benefit to some plants. So all in all, a gamma ray burst within a few parsecs with its energy directed towards Earth will mostly damage life by raising the UV levels during the burst itself and a few years thereafter. However, a gamma ray burst close enough will be powerful enough to destroy the Earth's ozone layer. And the ozone layer absorbs about 97-99% to of the sun's medium frequency ultraviolet light, which would otherwise damage exposed life forms near the surface. Basically, we will be fried by the sun. Now the chances are pretty small that a gamma ray burst would hit us, but there are some indicators that it did happen before in the past. An extinction event 450 million years ago may have been caused by a gamma ray burst. But no worries, it's estimated that a gamma ray burst that are close enough to Earth only happens once every 5 million years. And as always, thanks for watching.